Going back is a waste. When you are working on anything, the objective is to make progress. How do we define this word, progress? I'm going to give you a subjective one which limits the scope of what's being discussed here and adds some relevance to this discussion. Progress involves activities that bring value to the recipient of these actions. What's being described here is very tangible. You can follow it. Measurable. Either it brought value or it didn't. And demonstrable. Can you see it? Yes, you can. So what would be the opposite if the recipients felt they lost value? The situation happens enough, but we're usually unaware because we often never even bother to ask. Maybe because we are afraid of the answer. For academic purposes, let's assume we actually asked. Or maybe we didn't ask and they just told us. No place to hide. I guess we'll have to deal with it. So what's our first step? If possible, we should at least be able to go back to the point where the loss of value took place and give the people back what they used to have before you took it away from them. The textbook example goes back to the 1980s, where Coca-Cola introduced New Coke. They performed numerous blind taste tests, where New Coke outperformed regular Coke, Pepsi, and any other cola wannabes out there, and used this as their justification for the new product. Coke's plan was to introduce the new and retire the old. There was a problem, though. The Coke customers had an emotional attachment to the old Coke and held an uprising. I don't even want to think about how that outrage would be expressed today on Twitter. Anyways, Coke had to perform a mea culpa. They couldn't perform a simple about face, but what they did was reintroduce the old Coke as Coke Classic. With that move, they gave their customers the choice of either selecting the new product or remaining with the old. Eventually, they killed the new Coke. As you can pick up from this example, simply going back might be the best case. Let's assume we have some sort of fallback mode. To get things right means you don't have to go back and fix something after it's been released. Either what you produce creates value, or it doesn't. No value means no progress. Within an agile way of working, we should ensure the vehicle we are driving has no reverse gear. That way, we ensure that we are very careful about how we interpret progress.